Hi guys, welcome to Civil Learning Online. Hope you all are doing well. And today in this video, I will be discussing about eigenvalue and eigenvector. Previously, I have discussed about Kramer's rule. You can have the link in the description. And guys, if you are watching this video on YouTube, then do subscribe and press the bell icon. And guys, if you are watching this video on Facebook, then follow the page. And without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution of this numerical with solution. And the first step for solving the eigenvalue and eigenvector or finding the eigenvalue and eigenvector of given matrix, what we need to do is we have to use an equation that is A minus lambda i times capital X equals to 0 now guys the time is to know what these uh, variables represent so guys here a represents the given matrix so a is our given matrix similarly lambda is a constant i is our identity matrix identity matrix are those which whose diagonal element are unity and all the other elements are zero so uh, the second is x and x is our unknown matrix for which the we need to find the value x is our unknown matrix and guys this zero represents our null matrix means all the element of this matrix is zero so guys let me repeat one thing whenever we are finding or solving the numerical based upon the eigenvalue or eigenvector we need to proceed using this equation our very first step is used to write down this equation and we i'm i have represent uh, i have uh, let you know that what these uh, symbols represents now let us move toward the further step now guys after this step what we need to do is let us rewrite this equation putting the value of the given matrices so if we put the value of the matrix a then we will have 1 0 minus 1 1 2 1 2 2 3 sign of subtraction lambda and the value of i is 0 sorry 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 i hope you know the unitary matrix of uh, order 3 by 3 here i is uh, re representing the unity matrix of or unity or identity ma identity matrix of 3 by 3 order and this whole is multiplied by x and let the variable uh, this unknown matrix be x y and z and this is equals to our null matrix means 0 0 0 now guys after this step what we need to do is we have to write down the determinant of a minus lambda i equals to 0 now what we need to do is we need to find the determinant of a minus lambda i determinant means we need do not need, need we do not need to take the determinant up to the final end but to, uh, what we will be doing here we simply need to uh, subtract this uh, lambda i from this matrix a so what we need to do is watch this step very carefully see here guys this is 0 sorry 1 0 minus 1 1 2 1 2 2 3 and this sign of determinant minus now guys if we multiply this lambda with identity matrix then what we will have here lambda times 1 will be lambda lambda times 0 0 lambda times 0 again 0 lambda 
जीरो 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 लैमडा इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू मैट्रिसेस सो ऑन सब्ट्रैक्शन व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज दिस लैमडा विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम ऑल द डायग्नोल एलिमेंट ओनली सो व्हाट वी विल गेट हियर वन माइनस लैमडा एंड जीरो माइनस जीरो विल बी एज इट इज माइनस वन माइनस जीरो विल बी एज इट इज सिमिलरली दिस वन माइनस जीरो विल बी वन टू माइनस लैमडा विल बी टू माइनस लैमडा वन माइनस जीरो विल बी वन टू माइनस जीरो विल बी टू टू माइनस जीरो विल बी टू एंड थ्री माइनस लैमडा विल बी हेयर इन शॉर्ट वाट वी सेड वाट वी कैन से हेयर डैट ऑन सब्ट्रैक्शन that lambda will be subtracted from the diagonal element only i hope you understood this step we didn't do anything special here we just subtracted we multiplied this identity matrix with lambda and after that we subtracted uh, that value from the uh, given matrix a and the value we get is here now guys uh, here lambda represents constant or i can we can simply say it as eigen value and while solving the 3 by 3 matrix or while we are finding the uh, eigen value of 3 by 3 matrix then in that case we will be using a formula and the formula is given by lambda cube minus sum of diagonal element times lambda square plus sum of diagonal minus times lambda minus determinant of a will be equals to 0 so guys if you are if you are going to ask me that from where this formula came this formula is derived from this term here this formula is actually the determinant of this matrix if we consider 1 minus lambda then 1 minus lambda will be multiplied by uh, the mat this uh, this portion because this and this is covered so 1 minus lambda is multiplied by this minus 0 times all the element will be taken uh, leaving this and this items again this minus 1 is multiplied with this up to this value I hope you are understanding so uh, if we are solving it manually then it will just increase our uh, time consuming because the multiplication up to the power 3 is going to be very lengthy so just to simply use this formula it is very simple formula I hope you understand understood what I am trying to say uh, whenever we are solving the 3 by 3 matrix or finding the eigenvalue or eigenvector of the 3 by 3 matrix then we simply use this formula for calculating the value of eigen uh, values uh, and further after calculating the value of eigen values we will be using those eigen value to find the eigen factor so guys just remember this formula and rewrite the equation putting the values calculating the values here so it will be lambda cube minus sum of the diagonal element and here the diagonal element is 1 2 and 3 so on adding these three terms we will get 6 so 6 times lambda square plus now sum of diagonal minors now here the question comes how to find the minors of the diagonal element so guys see here how we can find the di uh, minors of these three elements diagonal elements now see here guys if we consider this diagonal element 1 then cover this and this then the remaining is 2 2 1 3 2 2 1 3 this is going to be the minor of 1 similarly this minor of this uh, diagonal element 2 is going to be cover this cover this and this then 1 1 2 3 write it here 1 minus 1 2 and 3 similarly minor of this 3 is going to be cover this and these two then one one zero two one one zero two now solve this you will get six minus two will be equals to four 
3 plus 2 will be equals to 5 similarly 2 minus 0 will be equals to 2 now add these three numbers 5 plus 2 7 plus 4 11 means the sum of diagonal minors is 11 times lambda minus determinant of a so let us see how to find the determinant of a so here the matrix here is the matrix a and let us find a determinant of a so determinant of a means i am consider i will be finding the determinant with respect to this raw so 1 times cover this and this then it will be 2 2 1 3 so 2 2 1 3 and for second we will take 0 times and all the, all the other values 1 2 1 3 1 2 1 3 similarly for this minus 1 minus will 1 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 now what we need to do is we have to use the sign convention downward positive upward negative downward positive upward negative downward positive upward negative so 6 minus 2 and this will be 0 because uh, any value which we get from here when multiplied with 0 will become 0 minus 1 times 2 minus 4 now find the final value of the determinant so here we will get 6 which is not equals to 0 now put the value of the uh, determinant here 6 equals to 0 now solve this equation using calculator now see here guys I am going to show you how to solve the equation using calculator go to mode then press 5 then press 4 because the uh, equation uh, for solving the up to the cube root is in 4 number so press 4 now enter the value here the coefficient of lambda q is 1 so press 1 then again minus 6 press minus 6 then 11 then again minus 6 now again press equals to after entering the value of the constants press equals to the first value which we get will be our uh, first eigen values so we have lambda equals to 1 again press equals to 3 and 2 these three are our eigen values now time to calculate the eigen vector so guys to calculate the eigen vector what we need to do is we have to take the value of eigen values one by one so first let us take if let this be step two because in step in step one we have calculated the eigen values now in step two we will be calculating the eigen factor and in for calculating the eigen factor we will be taking the each and every value of the eigen value one by one so if we take lambda equals to one then what we need to do is we have to subtract the value of lambda from here so the first element if we take lambda equals to 1 then it will becomes 1 minus 1 will be equals to 0 0 minus 1 again this is 1 and this is 2 and if I take lambda equals to 1 here then 2 minus 1 will be equals to 1 1 2 and 3 minus 1 will be equals to 2 now after finding getting this put the unknown values x y z and null matrix 0 0 0 now guys what we need to do is we need to calculate the value of x y z and let us form two equations uh, by multiplying this so 0 is multiplied with 0 then we will get 0 times x plus 0 times y and minus z equals to 0 and the second equation will be x plus y plus z x plus y plus z equals to 0 so guys now uh, we will be using these two equation to find the value of x y and z and the process which we will be following to calculate those unknown value is called Kramer's rule I made a separate video on Kramer's rule you can check them out check it out in the link in the description or uh, there are two methods of solving the equation by Kramer's rule I have which you can find it in the separate video or here the rule is same Kramer's rule but uh, the process it can be solved in uh, these two steps and here I am going to show you the second step so here what we need to do is 
suppose we are calculating the value of x so cover this and write down the coefficient of y and z here so here the coefficient of y is 0 1 minus 1 1 equals to y so cover this and write down the coefficient of x and z 0 1 minus 1 1 equals to z by 0 0 1 1 so from here we will get x by this 1 it will become 0 what 0 times 1 will be 0 and minus times 1 will be minus 1 and we are moving upward so negative minus minus will get plus equals to this will be minus y because the second term which we take is uh, taken as negative this is positive this is positive and this is negative and from below we will get positive 1 on solving this because 0 times 1 will be 0 and minus or uh, 1 times minus 1 will become minus 1 and moving upward so again it is multi sign changed or multiplied with minus sign so it will get positive equals to z upon 0 so from here we will get x equals to 1 y equals to minus 1 and z equals to 0 these are our first eigenvector eigenvalues sorry eigenvector okay now guys we will be following this similar step to calculate the values of eigenvectors uh, and this time we will take lambda equals to 3 so let us see what result we will get now see here guys if lambda equals to 3 so guys if we are taking lambda equals to 3 then here we will have 1 minus 3 will be equals to minus 2 so minus 2 and this is as it is 1 2 0 now see here 2 minus 3 will be equals to minus 1 so minus 1 and 2 minus 1 1 and 3 minus here 3 minus 3 will get 0 so here it is 0 and this is multiplied with x y and z will be equals to 0 0 0 now form two equations so minus 2 times x will be equals to minus 2x 0 times y plus 0 times y minus z equals to 0 and x minus y plus z will be equals to 0 now solve these two equations uh, to get the value of x y and z so again the step is same uh, x times coefficients so 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 will be equals to y upon cover this minus 2 1 minus 1 1 equals to z upon minus 2 1 0 and minus 1 so solve this we get x upon minus 1 by y upon minus 2 and plus 1 will be equals to minus 1 equals to z upon uh, 2 so here we get x y z will be equals to minus 1 minus 1 2 and you can check this value by putting this value in this equation whether it is the value which we get is true or, or not now uh, you need to watch this step very carefully because uh, i haven't seen any such numerical on any such type of numerical anywhere and you may face difficulty if you haven't tried this uh, type of numerical see what difficulty we may face in while calculate solving the numerical based upon this eigenvalue here it is going to be happen here so if we are solving if lambda equals to 2 then from this equation what we will have here lambda equals to 2 then it will be 1 minus 2 means minus 1 1 2 0 0 2 minus 1 1 and here it will be 3 minus 2 will be equals to 1 times 
x y z will be equals to 0 0 0 now guys let us uh, construct equation from this uh, by multiplying these two matrices so minus 1 times x will be minus x plus 0 times y minus z equals to 0 and from here we will have x plus 0 times y plus z equals to 0 similarly here 2x plus 2y plus z equals to 0 now guys you may ask me that why in the previous while finding the previous eigenvectors we con we constructed only two equations but here i have constructed all the three equations which were possible from here why so now see here guys if i am taking only two equations here suppose this is not here this equation is not present here and i am writing it as x by 0 0 minus 1 1 equals to y by minus 1 1 minus 1 1 equals to z by minus 1 1 0 0 and on solving these lower terms we will get all the terms below the x and y and z at 0 if we solve this it will also get 0 if we solve this it will also get 0 if we solve this it is also getting 0 so in such case we need to use all the three equations I hope you understood what I said here all the lower terms are getting 0 in that case we will be using all the three equations you may face some numerical uh, related based upon the eigenvalue and eigenvector in which we may have we may need to face with such conditions so be prepared uh, with this numerical and from here, so guys let us see now skip this step how we will be solving it here see here how we solve how if such case occurs then how we solve this numerical is here from here we can form an equation that minus x equals to z from here minus x equals to z because this negative z is brought this side and y will get 0 so minus x will be equals to z similarly from here also we will get x equals to z or so x equals to minus z means the thing is same or we can write it as minus x equals to z from here also because i have brought this x this side so positive will turn negative and from here here we have we are clear that y is equals to 0 no sorry uh, now in this equation put uh, z equals to minus x so we will have 2x plus 2y and z equals to minus x will be equals to 0 on solving this we will get x equals to minus 2y means x is see here sorry for this x is twice of y now what we need to do is write here x minus y and z here and one thing more here guys here i have missed the minus sign here so we put here minus so from here we will get y equals to 1 and here it is minus y and equals to z now here so guys now see here if i take uh, here we here we have x equals to minus 2y and z equals to minus x and if i take y equals to 1 then what we will have here x equals to if i take y equals to 1 by heat and trial method if i take y equals to 1 then we will have x equals to minus 2 and negative of x equals to positive z so our z will be equals to 2 and these are our eigen vectors minus 2 1 and 2 are our eigen vector when our lambda equals to 2 so this was our final step and i hope you enjoyed the today's lecture and see you in the next video guys till then stay safe and take care of yourself see you bye bye